Kiss of mezcal. Yeah. Mm, very, very relaxing. <laughs> Eat is there? Yes. Good morning. Today we are eating traditional Oaxacan breakfast. And this is the food. I have no idea what's in the food, but uh, we're gonna try it and um, it was going to be delicious because traditional food is always delicious. This is a pineapple orange freshly squeezed juice we got earlier as well. We're also going on a mezcal tour today, so stick around to the end for that. So this is a coffee, she got hot chocolate. What did you get? Corn with chocolate. Corn with chocolate. Oaxacan cheese, it's like super stringy and super delicious. Oh, okay. Cacao nibs, yeah. Traditional Oaxacan beverage. The donkey's here carrying some stuff, and uh, the donkeys also have a mask. So many similarities uh, in third world countries, like in India and Oaxaca as well, here. It has been so wonderful. <laughs> now we're off for a mezcal tour. Make sure you hit that like button before we move forward. All right, awesome, here we go. I got these wonderful things, rose quartz, and this one is like a planets thing, super cool. Uh, we were looking at something similar yesterday and they wanted to sell me one for 150 pesos. I got uh, two for a hundred pesos because now we are in local markets and local places and I probably still pay too much for it, but that's okay because we're in local places. So this is the park here in the local town and that's the agua tree. They explain to you the, the shapes of this tree and also the history of the tree but unfortunately because of the pandemic we cannot enter. Okay. Well we still get to give it a beautiful look from outside. So they give us like a little spray on our hands and I thought it was like a regular sanitizer but it's like mezcal and like a floral taste so my hands smell of mezcal and so it's beautiful. Let the mezcal tour begin. Okay, so we're gonna start right here. First let me introduce myself. My name is Macho Velasco. Nice to meet you. And my name is Too Hard. Just call me by now. Okay? It takes approximately 8 to 10 years for it to grow, harvest and then make mezcal. This one sadly is a heart to grow small to grow the size of a basketball. So it's gonna be really difficult to harvest four or five tons of agave heart of Kovala to make the mezcal of Kovala. But this one's gonna have notes a lot more dry, earthy and a little bit more like um, barnyard or like hay. This is the oven right here that they smoke the agave in. Uh, and this currently they smoke like six tons of agave in this right now. When the guy was telling us about all the different kinds of uh, mezcals and all the different kinds of agave plants that's used to create mezcal as opposed to just one type of agave that's used uh, to create tequila. That little thing right there is where the mezcal finally comes out. It goes up from there, up into that, down there, and it comes out of that right there. This is a, the fermenting room and it's very humid and hot in here. It's sick here. Now we are going to the place of the second distillation and the third distillation before we can drink it. So that's the second distillation and then they store it there. And if it passes the test, then cool. If not, it goes in there and they have a third distillation and they can also infuse it with uh, sometimes raw meat, sometimes citrus fruits and sometimes even cannabis to give it that little uh, CBD flavor as well. So our man has told us here how mezcal, we actually have to do like a kiss of mezcal. So we take a little sip and then just kind of swallow it in your mouth and then let it go down. Then breathe in through the nose and out through the mouth. No mezcal shots, guys. And there's an orange. <laughs> Guys, I have some, some something to tell you. My man tells you that mezcal doesn't get you drunk. It only makes you magical. <laughs> so we tried a weed-infused mezcal, and this is Madre Quiche, which is actually an aphrodisiac. We just finished the mezcal tasting. We tasted a total of 11 mezcals. So delicious. And 
it was absolutely free. He did not charge us one bit for the tour or the mezcal tasty. We gave him a tip, obviously, but it was so delicious and such wonderful people over here. It was absolutely gorgeous. Here are the horses. These are the beautiful agave fields. Gorgeous. We are now in a smaller town uh, here while after we did the mezcal tasting and we are out here to get ice cream. How wonderful. Look of bread with some chocolate in it. And we have made it to the ice cream. So I got the like cactus flavor and vanilla as well. It's wow, super delicious. Mm. Mm -mm -mm. Cactus never tasted so good, baby. So they sell the meat here and then they grill it fresh for you. So there's the meat shop and then they grill it. They have Walmart pickup even in Mexico. That's good. Okay, we made it in Walmart. So Walmart actually only allows one person per family. So we had to kind of go one after one after one after one. Kind of silly. But I think it's because of the COVID. But uh, now we are together. Okay. Looks very similar to a Walmart in the US if you ask me. It's almost identical, just a different language and different currency. Everything else is the same. Okay, you can't buy a bike in the Walmart in the US. You can buy a bike here, guys. We made it to a super, super local taco stand here. Carlos, of course, brought us here. Wonderful place, as you can see. And uh, the friends. <laughs> and uh, we shall now get some tacos here. Lunch was delicious. We are now here at this bakery. Look at all this stuff. Look at the prices of this. Like, this is eight bucks. Four dollars. Eight pesos. Eight pesos. Seven pesos. What? Put that in perspective, 20 pesos is one dollar. So seven pesos is like less than 50 cents. Look at all these bread. This is like a bread shop. Pan. We made it to Adeo Station, Adeo, with Livia, Sandra, and myself. Boarding the bus for the next destination. Made it to Vivo Escondido. <laughs> so we made it to the hostel and we still haven't been able to check in. It's like 8.38. And uh, we're waiting for the guys to come out. We were able to just open up our suitcases, brush our teeth, change our clothes, all that good stuff. And uh, here's the hostel. So you guys missed the beach, but we're here now after a couple of mezcal shots, some cervezas and um, some other things. But uh, here we are. And we got, we're at a vegan restaurant, we got ceviche vegan And there's Livia and Carlos and Sandra Salud! <laughs> this lady over here wants to do my hair for 200 pesos Why not? Let's do it Okay amiga, let's do it I have decided to get my hair done So this lady, lovely lady here is Cardo do my hair to some cool stuff. It should be interesting to stick around. <laughs> you guys are gonna remember this 10 years from now. <laughs> Come here, remember that day you did your hair and looked all crazy? Look at this, friend. With the mojito. <laughs> With the mojito, of course, and guacamole. Which, by the way, I have a new love for guacamole. And <laughs> peach. This is ketchup, right? Food. Yeah. Mojitos. And I still can't eat because, well, I'm in a situation at the moment, guys. Of course, why not? To eat. Well, I'm hair done. Why not? Oh, yeah. Thank you, Carlos. Let's go back.
All right, guys, it's it's done. How's it looking? What the f fish door? Oh yeah, we get the back wow. here. Hey, why not? Why not? Why not? Okay, muchas gracias. Oh, the wind! I can feel the wind. <laughs>